I did a poll recently. Let me just pop it up. Very interesting poll. I think any developer and aspiring web developer should pay attention to. So I got about a thousand respondents on this poll. So let me read it. And then we'll get into the discussion. Every now and then a new technology emerges in the development space that is truly a game changer. For me, a game changer text is something that allows you to do something that you couldn't do before, or it's a tech that makes you 10 times more productive. So I asked the question, which one do you think it is today? I got about a thousand respondents on YouTube. I got similar results on Twitter, although not as many voters. Anyway, so AI is far and away, number one. 73% thought it was AI. And then there's low-code tools, only 7%. Browser plugins, 3%. And I added the option, all of the above. So the short answer to this question, to this poll, in my opinion, based on my 8,000 years of experience as a developer since 1994, uh, in my experience, all joking aside, it's actually all three together, combined together. So AI is kind of obvious, right? ChatGPT hit the scene. Now we got Grok, Bard, and Midjourney, and many others. The key with AI, though, is how do you quickly implement AI into your software efficiently? This is where low-code platforms come in. In terms of low-code, there are the usual subjects like Airtable. The sponsor of this video, Pixiebricks, is actually a low-code platform that is browser plugin-based, and I'll get into that in a second. And they allow you, amongst other things, to easily implement AI into your existing web apps. So why do I include browser plugins, the seemingly very niche technology? Why do I include this with AI and low code? Well, in the context of web app development, browser plugins are pretty important. And I just discovered this recently. Again, the sponsor of this video, Pixie Bricks, made me aware of this with just a couple of simple examples they provided. So anybody, let me shut this down, actually. Hold on, let me just get rid of this. Boo! So anybody who's managed a mature web application knows that the last thing you want to do is mess with the underlying code base, right? Well, this is actually a basic rule of software development. You want to keep your, uh, your playpen separate, you know, separation of concerns. That is a fundamental principle of object-oriented design. The browser plugin implements the decorator pattern, which allows you to do that very nicely. So you're able to inject new functionality to existing web apps without touching your underlying code base, which has huge advantages. You're not going to introduce bugs. You're not going to have to deal with perhaps some bureaucracy in terms of stakeholders saying, hey, I don't want you to add this, this functionality. Are you going to break stuff? With a browser extension, you could add on top of your application pretty cool functionality, again, without touching the underlying architecture. This is fantastic. Now, with the Pixie Bricks platform, which is a low-code platform, they make it trivial, easy for you to add new functionality. Many things you can do. One example caught my eye was an AI implementation. So I'm going to give you a, a taste of it from one of their training videos, which uh, will walk you through it just in a few minutes. It's worth watching just to see how quickly you can add some pretty, pretty substantial functionality in just minutes. Pixie Bricks lets you create custom browser mods like this. We'll rebuild this mod from scratch in five minutes. Start by opening the page editor, which lives in the Chrome DevTools. Every mod starts with a starter brick, so all we need to do is select our Google account integration, choose the Google Sheet, and now when I click the context menu, Pixie Bricks fetches our support articles. So now we can choose an AI service and write our prompt. I'm going to choose ChatGPT, I'm going to select my integration, and you can see when we open up the output over here that ChatGPT has recommended a very relevant article. And voila, Pixie Bricks returns the most relevant resource in the sidebar. That was just one simple example. Integrating with ChatGPT is just one of the things you can do. I invite you to take a look at the links below to Pixie Bricks. Take a look at what they can do. I believe overall that these three technologies, AI, low code, and browser plugins, is a huge game changer in terms of productivity in certain circumstances. Every now and then, Game changers like this do come out. I've seen it happen a few times since the 90s. And uh, those who jump onto this early will gain a big advantage in the marketplace, whether you're a developer or whether you're a business owner, a SaaS owner, 
who wants to uh, add new features to their software efficiently. I'm sure some people might be questioning my 10 times productivity assertion. This I've seen firsthand. So I'll give you one simple example going way back in time. And again, I believe AI, low code and uh, browser plugin can easily do the 10 times as well. So just a simple example. So in the early days of the web, the way web apps were developed was a pro CGI model where basically all your view code was generated within the logic. Big no-no. Big no-no. We know that today. But in the early stages of the web, you know, early 90s, um, people didn't know that. So Microsoft, of all people, they came out with a technology called Active Server Pages. The point is, is that it was a, a flipping of the paradigm where view code was extracted out of the logic layer. And that simple paradigm shift made you hyper productive as a web developer. So yours truly uh, figured this out uh, by luck. I went in to see a client. They had a, a fairly mature app developed with traditional web app development technologies at the time, Pro CGI, flat file database. And uh, after a year and a half, they couldn't get it to work properly, didn't have all the features, it was very buggy, it was unusable. So they called me in, can you fix this code base that other company is not working out? What can you do, Steph? And I said, well, I had heard of the server page technology model. I looked at it a little bit, but I never used it. But to me, I was saying, oh, this is gonna save a lot of time. I wasn't sure how much time. Anyway, long story short, I took on the project, I rewrote from scratch with the new technology. I was able to get it done in 30 days with all the features they wanted initially, pretty much bug free. And I did it in one month, whereas the other company it was over a year and they still couldn't get it done. Of course, when you're reproducing something that's already been built, it's easier, much easier. But nonetheless, this paradigm shift, this new technology, this emerging technology was brand new, 90, 96, I think it was. It was a game changer. It literally allowed me to do something in 30 days that took other companies over a year to do. And I did it better. So it's a testament to the technology, not so much me. So when you look at AI, low code, and browser plugins, I think you're going to see the same level of productivity uh, advancements or inc increase, if you will. All right, I'm Uncle Steph. Thanks for watching the video. If you disagree with any of my assertions in this video or other videos, you can uh, comment below. I will probably pay attention, but no guarantee. I mentor people in the ways of code and so many other things. Uh, so if you're interested in that, check out UncleSteph.com. And yeah, do check out Pixie Bricks, the sponsor of this video. Again, people know my channel. I don't take on too many sponsors. And the ones I do take on, I take them on because I know that they're worth looking into. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, arigato. Thank you.